Sidestepping over an obstacle to improve your balance. One of the best exercises that you can do to improve this is called sidestepping over an obstacle. Now in normal sidestepping, you're just stepping sideways. You're not stepping over anything. But one way to make this more challenging is to have an obstacle. Now in my video, I'm using a foam roll, but you can use anything. You can use a rolled up dish towel. You can use a piece of tape. Um, anything at all will be a good obstacle. You just want something that forces you to step over it. Now, if you feel like you're at a higher level, you can pick something larger. You can even use an aerobic step or something like a, an exercise ball. But for most of us, you want to use something small. My um, foam roller is only about three inches tall and about four inches wide. Now to do this exercise safely, you want something sturdy next to you. You can use a countertop, you can use a sink, a back of a chair, anything that's not going to move that you can hold on to. Now when you first do the exercise, you want to grab onto that, that sturdy thing. And basically what you're doing is stepping sideways over the obstacle, making room for both feet. So you step with both feet to one side and then you step back with both feet. And you, you want to do this one foot at a time, but you want to leave room for the other foot. If you bring your foot too close to the obstacle, then your other foot might end up on top or cross. You want to always avoid crossing your legs when you do this. And for that reason, if you find that you're crossing your legs, you might want to pick an obstacle that's a little bit narrower. If it's too wide, that might be too much for you to step over in the beginning. Now, to do this exercise effectively, you want to do it for about five minutes, two or three times a day. The goal with this exercise is to do it without holding anything 20 times in both directions. But for many people that I've worked with, that takes weeks, if not months. I see clients usually one or two times a week, and I've noticed that it takes often a month or two before they can do this exercise without holding on. It really depends on the level of your balance when you start it. What's, what's true for one person really isn't going to be true for someone else because everyone has a different ability level. But this exercise is very effective at improving your proprioception, your balance, and your strength. People that can do this feel more stable. Many people have trouble with their balance. They might be shuffling, they might be using a cane or a walker just to get around. They might even be stumbling or falling. My name is Doug. I'm a physical therapist with 30 years of experience and I specialize in proprioceptive rehabilitation for people that are at risk of falling. In this video, I'm going to show you a great exercise that I use every day to help people improve their balance and resist fall. One of the main reasons that people fall is that they lack proprioception. As we get older, we stop doing things that challenge our balance. And one of the effects of this is we lose the ability to know where our arms and legs are in space. Proprioception is the awareness of where your arms and legs are without you looking at your arms and legs. You develop your proprioception by doing things that challenge your balance because when you're challenging your balance, you're improving your knowledge of where your arms and legs are. And the more you practice balance challenging things, the better your proprioception can get. I hope this video was helpful. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.